In Indian culture, the treatment of sons and daughters has historically been unequal, particularly concerning inheritance rights. Traditionally, sons were favored, receiving all privileges including the lion's share of inheritance, while daughters were often overlooked, denying them any share of their parental property. Even with legal reforms ensuring equal inheritance rights, many Indian families cling to outdated attitudes, reluctant to allot equitable shares to daughters. This resistance to change underscores a significant social issue that persists despite legal advancements. A poignant example of this deep-seated inequality surfaced recently in New Delhi. It's a tale that mirrors countless similar stories unfolding across the country. In this particular case, a widowed mother drafted a will that disproportionately favored her son over her two daughters. After her demise, the son resorted to deceit to deprive his sisters of their rightful inheritance. He first delayed the disclosure of the will, claiming it was locked away in a bank and inaccessible. Even when the will was finally retrieved, he withheld the keys and necessary property documents under the guise of assisting his sisters to sell their share. For two to three years, he stalled any progress under the pretense of helping, while secretly planning to siphon off a significant portion of the proceeds from his sister's property. Eventually, the sisters uncovered his scheme and managed to independently sell their property without his interference. The fallout from this deception was severe. Enriched by his lost opportunity to profit from his sister's inheritance, the brother cut all ties with them. He even rejected a rakhi a sacred thread symbolizing the protective bond between brothers and sisters during the Raksha Bandhan festival sent by one of his sisters, returning it, and thereby insulting not just his sister but the very essence of the festival. Such behavior highlights a troubling question, if brothers act with such greed and deceit, what sister would ever desire a brother like that? This case not only reflects the ongoing struggles within many Indian families, but also emphasizes the urgent need for societal change. Moving beyond mere legal reforms to address the deep-rooted cultural biases that continue to plague familial relationships and women's rights in India. Thank you for watching.